You go through my comments, there's loads of people saying they can't find Jamaican curry powder anywhere. So you can either go to uh, the link in my link tree for Jamaica Valley and buy some off them. Use my code JV Nigel to get a discount, or you can make your own Jamaican curry powder. Let's make this. So to start off with, get yourself a frying pan, and in there you're going to put whole pimento, black peppercorns, fenugreek seeds. You can get these online or any Asian supermarket. We're going to have got white mustard seeds again online but i bought these from uh, tesco get those in one star anise and here we have some cumin seeds get those in now we're going to toast these for 10 minutes you must toast them so while i was toasting get yourself a little bowl in there we're going to add some turmeric some scotch bonnet chili powder can't buy scotch on it, can't make your own. I would uh, just use any chili powder that you like. Some ground coriander, get those in, and some ground ginger. Get that in, just mix them together. Just be aware, once it starts getting hot, the seeds will pop and they'll pop all over the place. So make sure you cover with the lid. Right, so after 10 minutes of popping and roasting, turn off the heat and just let them cool right down. Once they've cooled, I'm going to transfer them into this pot to make it easier. Just put them into your spice grinder or coffee grinder. These are still a little warm, so I'm going to cool a little bit longer. So once they've cooled, just grind them up to the powder. That's done now. Now look at that, Oop, don't look, well. look at that. So, once you've all ground it up, get your other ground spices, add that in, and then mix them together. Now it's all mixed, get yourself a jar and a funnel. I'm just gonna transfer that into a jar. And there it is. Homemade Jamaican curry powder.